Hello, welcome to class. Here is Fabian, Fabian Wandi, the Crypto Lord. So we are going to be talking about the different applications you are going to download for your journey in crypto as a beginner. Okay, so now uh, let's go to Play Store. This is Play Store. You click on Play Store. The first app you need to download is the Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet. So this is the app you have to install this app you install the app install so you have created your wallet now they are teaching you how to use it this is your wallet so when your wallet opens this is how your wallet looks like you can send your wallet address to somebody this is a platform where you save your cryptocurrency it is safe in wallets like this now it comes only with bitcoin you can see it comes only with uh bitcoin these are all the the coins that you see there but you can add the coins if you want to add the coins come here click on this when you click on that you will see search you can search the coin you want to add this is search so you can search so let's say we want to search um, which coin can we search let's just search polygon okay polygon you see this is polygon polygon this is a coin so I can add polygon. You see, this is where you add polygon. So you just need to click on this small this thing to slide the other way. So you slide it. It has added. Now let's go back and you see. You see, this is polygon last. So the coin has been added on the list. So any coin you want to add on the list, just follow this procedure and you are going to do that. The next thing is if you want to receive crypto let's say you want to receive crypto you come to receive when you click on receive they'll ask you which coin do you want to receive because there are so many coins which coin do you want to receive let's say we want to receive this coin bitcoin okay let's say you want to receive bitcoin you click on bitcoin you click on bitcoin when you click on bitcoin it takes you to the page now you can copy your wallet address you just need to click on copy when you click on copy it has copied you see copy that is the wallet address you can paste it anywhere or the person can scan use a scan to scan this and it will still come to you this is how you can receive cryptocurrency you just need to select the coin step number one select the coin you want to receive to copy the wallet and send to the person that wants to send you the crypto now let's say you want to send crypto to another person you want to send crypto to another person you go to send you click on send when you click on send i cannot uh, they will tell you now i don't have any asset to send i don't have any crypto in this wallet this wallet is a virgin so when you want to send you go you select the coin you want to send or you can just directly click on the coin like this if i want to send ethereum i can directly click on ethereum when i click on ethereum it will give me two options do i want to receive ethereum or do i want to swap ethereum or i want to send ethereum i can click on any then i go select the amount i want to send and i send this is the trust wallet i'm giving you tutorials on how to use the trust wallet you can come back let's go back oh sorry now this is discover where on this discover you can see different coins click on discover you can see these are coins that the owners of this coin deals were with staking okay the owners of these coins deals with staking now these are defi stock tokens you can see lending and borrowing these coins deals with lending and borrowing 
you can see smart chain this coin runs on the binance smart chain all of these are defi platforms these are platform you can swap coins let's go to this let's come here so that you can understand you click on this browser let's click on browser on browser now these are the decentralized applications these are applications that are built on the blockchain and they do different things so uh, a platform like binance like ethereum built a virtual computer so you can build your platform on it when you build your platform it is called a decentralized application or dApps. so here you have new dApps. these are applications that are new you have here is competition this is a program by binance you know the trust wallet is owned by binance so this is a program by binance about the spot uh, this new uh work up you have defi these are defi platforms that means these are applications that deals with financial transactions so if you click on any let's take for example uh, this is a defi is an exchange okay so you can swap coins pancake swap if you click there you are going to you can swap coins to have different coins now you have popular popular these are platforms that are very popular like pancake swap is very popular uniswap compound is all popular now this is a platform you can do trading orca and you do trading but on the solana blockchain okay this is a platform for solana blockchain so this one are smart chain so all of these platforms run on the binance smart chain the binance smart chain if you click on any you are going to get more information you can see how to swap the next is yield farming yield farming farming is a pr process where you can lock up coins to receive reward so these coins people swap these coins to uh, uh and they as they are swapping they pay charges so the charges they used to pay you so you can be a liquidity provider so yield farming is also called liquidity mining that means you provide liquidity you provide money to make money as people are swapping you make money now as i said these are gaming platforms this one deals with gaming access infinity you play game and you make money these are exchanges these are all decentralized exchanges it's not controlled by anyone some of them you can trade nfts like uh, open c you trade nfts some of them you do swapping like pancake swap you can see all of them you can see all of them the next is marketplaces marketplaces is where you can do trading also mostly peer-to-peer -peer. you can mostly trade nfts there these are platforms to trade nfts and this is also social a marketplace for nfts so these are all platforms that you can explore to know more about them you can see uh, 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 utility utility you can see utility these are different platforms for different things in the crypto ecosystem it talks about staking it talks about governance so it talks about even nft so these are projects that their coins are for day-to-day -day use you have staking all of this we we spoke about them in our course staking you mean you lock up coins to gain reward so these are staking platform where you can lock up your coins to gain reward but you need to understand how this staking works for example a platform can say it can be giving you 100 percent after one year that means per annum if you stake let's say one bnb you have 100 percent next year that means if you stake one next year you will have two but by the time you are staking one one is 100 dollars so next year you will have two maybe one that time is five hundred dollars the two will give you one thousand dollars just as you can stake now one is one hundred dollars tomorrow you uh, the next year you have two 
but one that time is thirty dollars so the two will give you but sixty dollars that is uh the issue with staking you need to understand so you don't stake the dollar value you don't stake one hundred dollars no you stake a number of the coins now let's go to setting so that you can see let's open settings so with the settings you can add your wallet you can add the number of your wallet that means with this same wallet that i've downloaded i can add another wallet i can when i go to plus this plus up here i'm adding a wallet so i'm creating another new wallet this wallet have its own uh, uh key phrases it has its own everything so let's go back you can also change this from dark mode you see the screen is dark we can put it to be white so you can do different things these are all the settings if you want to know more about the trust wallet you can follow them on all the social media these are their social media handle whenever you want to follow any crypto project don't go and search on the social media to search for them go to their platform they always leave their handles so that you can follow from there to uh, uh see their platform to follow them on their original platform because if you can go on a telegram group that the telegram group is not really owned by them but you start receiving false information so this also is very important let's go to this preference preference with preference you can change the currency if you want your wallet to show your amount in franc cfa you can go here and you search your currency our currency is zaf you click this is zaf so if you put this as your currency you'll be seeing your amount but in franc cfa so you you realize that it has changed from dollars to franc cfa this is how it works so with this you can receive and send crypto through the trust wallet